What's up everyone, Geos59, and I'll be reviewing Killzone 2 for the PlayStation 3. Killzone 2's graphics are absolutely phenomenal. Of course the game isn't judged solely on graphics, and everyone knew that Killzone 2's graphics would be amazing anyways, so just thought I'd let you know that yes, they look amazing on a 50 inch. To make this game feel like Call of Duty 4 by the way, set the controller to alternate 1 with the sensitivity on the X and Y axis almost max or near max to make it feel like a Call of Duty game. This game is not for casual players, but then again, when was the last time you played a first person shooter that was for casual players? The game runs smoothly, and thank goodness there is no mandatory install, but there will be loading times in the campaign mode here and there. Those particular loading times will be like Oblivion's, but even shorter. Unfortunately, there is no co-op or split screen. Rumor has it they might implement this in a patch, but until then, consider it a rumor. And uh, personally, I really don't care about either of those things, but whatever. You will be driving a tank in campaign mode. It's the classic way to spice up the gameplay, and as always, it works. The story is your standard war story. It takes about 10 hours or so to complete it. The game does a great job of making you feel like you're in a war zone. The AI enemies are actually pretty impressive, and your partner's AI isn't that bad either. The game is like Uncharted. If you don't take cover, you will probably die. A lot. <laughs> Honestly, gamers should know by now that the story of an FPS game doesn't really matter. It's, of course, the online play. The online play is pretty deep. You can select your time zone, type of game, select your favorite map, in-game music, and, of course, you can level up and gain skills. Also, if you die, you have a couple of seconds of being revived by a medic, which is pretty cool. Overall, I give Killzone 2 a 10 out of 10. I personally think it's like Call of Duty 4, only with better graphics and slightly better gameplay, if that's even possible. The reason why I give it a 10 out of 10 is not because it redefines the FPS genre, but because it masters the FPS genre. Everything in this game is, is at a great or top-notch quality.